Okay, so even a lot of people that are good in math and algebra are going to have a tough time with this question. All right, so what we have here is we want to simplify this expression without using a calculator. Okay, so we have the cube root of 27 over 16. Okay, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so once again, the cube root of 27 over 16. The correct answer is the following. It is 3 times the cube root of 4 over 4. Okay, so if you got this right and you did not use a calculator, well, that is very good. Matter of fact, you're going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I thought I understood this stuff. What's going on? Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. So the first thing that we need to do here is just do a quick review on what the cube root of a number is. So uh, let's do a simple example like the cube root of 8. Okay, so what is the cube root of 8? Well, hopefully you're like, hey, Mr. Two, 2 Math Man, I know the answer. The answer is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2, a number times itself 3 times that gets uh, back to this number, is the cube root. Well, that is correct. Uh, so if you have a basic understanding of what the cube root is, well, then that is the first step to do this problem. Okay, so what is this symbol right here called in math? Well, hopefully you're not a must do to math man. That is the square root symbol. Well, not quite. Uh, it can be the square root symbol, but here we're talking about the cube root of this number. This symbol in math is called a radical. So what we need in order to do this problem is two properties of square roots or cube roots or two properties of radicals. So we have to understand these properties in order to simplify uh, this fraction without a calculator. Okay, so the two properties that we need to understand about uh, square roots and radicals are these two right here. So the square root of a fraction or the square root of a over b is equal to the square root of a over the square root of b. So if we have a fraction and we have one big square root, we can write this as uh, individual square roots of the numerator and the denominator. But uh, this could be cube roots as well. So the cube root of A over B is equal to the cube root of A over the cube root of B. Okay, so this is one property that we need to understand, and the other is this. So the square root of A times B is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B, or the cube root of A times B is equal to the cube root of A times the cube root of B. So now that we understand these uh, properties of radicals, we can actually use them to simplify the problem. Okay, so here we have the cube root of 27 over 16. And uh, there's more than one way to do this problem, but you're definitely going to need these properties. Okay, so let's go ahead and use one of the properties to take a step. So what I'm going to do here is write this cube root of this fraction as the cube root of 27 over the cube root of 16. And this is fantastic because the cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Okay, so the cube root of 27 over 16, now we have it down to 3 over the cube root of 16. And now we need to kind of figure out how to simplify the cube root of 16. So now that we used uh, one of the properties of radicals to simplify the problem to 3 over the cube root of 16, we can use that other property to simplify the cube root of 16. So let's factor 16 into two numbers like 8 times 2. So the cube root of 16 is equal to the cube root of 8 times the cube root of 2. And this is fantastic because the cube root of 8 is 2. So now we have 3 over 2 times the cube root of 2. So that uh, is what our expression is equal to right now. All right, so once again, we have 3 over the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8, the cube root of 8, excuse me, is 2. So this is 2 times the cube root of 2. So now we're down to 3 over 2 times the cube root of 2. 
Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so we were able to use these properties of uh, square roots and radicals to get uh, our answer down to this. Now, this looks pretty good, but there is a problem. And the problem is this right here. So we have what we call an irrational number in the denominator. So the q root of 2 is what we call an irrational number. Now, that means it's a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. And if you go into your calculator and uh, you try to find out what the cube root of 2 is, you'll see you'll get a decimal that doesn't terminate and it doesn't repeat. So we're not allowed to keep uh, such numbers in the denominator. So, for example, if you had like 1 over the square root of 2, the square root of 2 is an irrational number. This is not allowed and we need to fix it. Okay, so how do we fix this situation? Well, we're going to multiply the entire fraction by 1. So let me show you a quick example here. So if I have 1 over the square root of 2, we can multiply this by 1. Now this 1 is not any 1, it's a special 1. So what we want to do here is multiply 1 over the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Anything divided by itself is 1. But uh, when we do this, we can fix this uh, kind of situation and remove the irrational number in the denominator. Okay, so 1 over the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Again, this is 1. This is equal to 1 times the square root of 2. That's the square root of 2. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Uh, let me go ahead and show you this other property here. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is equal to the square root of 2 times 2, or the square root of 4. And the square root of 4, of course, is 2. So our answer now is the square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so now we get to a part of the problem where I think a lot of people are going to be confused. And that is, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know that we have an irrational number down here in the denominator, and we have to multiply this entire fraction by some version of 1. But uh, what is it that we need to multiply this cube root of 2 by to get rid of this thing down here in the denominator? Now, if we multiply the cube root of 2 by another cube root of 2, we're going to get a cube root of 4, and this is still an irrational number. So that's not going to do the trick here. So what uh, other cube root can we multiply the cube root of 2 by to get rid of this irrational number? So this is kind of the creative or fun part of the problem, but the hopefully you're like, hey, Mr. 2 2 Math Man, if you multiply the cube root of 2, times the cube root of 4, we'll get the cube root of 8, and that is 2. Well, that is fantastic, and that is kind of, I think, the hard part of this problem. Okay, so the one that we want, uh, the one that we want to multiply this entire fraction by is the cube root of 4 over the cube root of 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this math. Now, remember, uh, you can multiply uh, this uh, fraction by any cube root, uh, the trick here is uh, pick a cube root that is going to get rid of the irrational number in the denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this math right now. So 3 times the cube root of 4 is 3 times the cube root of 4. And this is okay because it's in the numerator. Remember, the issue is in the denominator. So 2 times the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 4 is 2 times the cube root of 8. Okay, so we are almost done. So the next thing that we need to do here is simplify this cube root of 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. So now we have 2 times 2 in the denominator. So our final answer is 3 times the cube root of 4 over 4. All right, so hopefully this little video helped you out. But uh, if you need additional help with uh, square roots, radicals, 
you know, properties of square roots, things along those lines. Check out these courses here. I'm going to leave uh, links to these in the description of this video. So that would be my pre-algebra course, Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, and my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.